there are different types of USB-C standards. And contrary to what you might have thought, the cable that you use for charging your device also determines how much power can be delivered to that device. There are three factors. The charging standard of your phone or tablet or laptop it might be 18 watts, 25, 30, 33, 45, 60, 100, 120, 140. Then there is a charging standard of your charger. Your charger or the adapter is the part you plug into the power source. Again, 15, 10, 18, 25, on and on and on and on. But the part that many people do not consider is the cable. The cable also matters, unfortunately. And the different standards keep growing. So it's not easy for the end user to determine what kind of cable will ensure that you get the fastest charging that your device is capable of. It's crazy, right? Tech can be messy like that, but I'm here to simplify it for you. You're looking for the best USB type C cable for fast charging. In other words, I am assuming that you're looking for the fastest possible charging speeds and standard for your device, right? So let's imagine that you have three different cables and you have a 100 watt charger. Your device is capable of 100 watt charging. You try this, it doesn't charge at 100 watts. You try this, it doesn't charge at 100 watts. You try this, it doesn't charge at 100 watts. You might begin to think that your device is the problem or the charging adapter is the problem when in reality it's the cable. Simple breakdown. As at today, cables are rated three amps or five amps. Three amps support up to 60 watts charging. Five amps support up to 100 watts and above. If you want the best possible cable for the fastest possible charging of your mobile device, get yourself a five amp cable. Now, we have a little bit of problem there because there are no regulations insisting that cable manufacturers mark their cables. So most cables have no marking, right? You can't find anything. You see all these cables? There, there is no marking on them. So you can't tell. But here is a general rule of thumb. If there is no marking on that table, assume it's a three amp cable. That's not what you're looking for, right? If you're shopping for a fast charging cable and you want the best, you want to be future proof, you want to have a cable that whatever the charging standard or speed of your adapter or of your phone, this cable will work. Here are the things to look out for. Buy a USB cable that is labeled 5 amps, 5A, or labeled 100 watts. When you're shopping, whether it's on Amazon, Best Buy, your local store, Flipkart, Jumia, wherever, look for a cable that is clearly stated as supporting 5 amps, 5A, or 100 watts. Very important. You can also look for a cable that is labeled USB-C. 2.1 USB-C 2.1 is one of the many available standards of USB cables right now and that particular standard supports up to 240 watts charging so you can, you can look for a USB Type-C cable that is labeled USB-C 2.1 or 240 watts also Thunderbolt 3 or 4 cables support higher speed fast charging. 
So look for a cable that is labeled Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, or USB 4. And you're on the safe side. So those are the three things you can look for. 5 amps or 100 watts, USB-C 2.1 or 240 watts, Thunderbolt 3 or 4, or USB 4. Are you still with me? What are the things to avoid? It's important to know what to look for, and it's also important to know what to avoid. Avoid unlabeled cables, like these ones. No labels, nothing. It doesn't say anything. Chances are that they are 3 amp cables, and they will support a maximum of maybe 60 watt fast charging. Avoid no-name brands. When you're shopping for your cable, you see that affordable, very cheap cable that does not have a label on it or has a name you've never heard of before. Of course, there are always new brands coming up who are doing, who are producing quality products. Stick with brands that are reputable, brands that are trustworthy. You know some of those brands, right? Also avoid cheap thin cables the thinner the cable is the greater the chances it does not support super fast charging why cables for super fast charging tend to be thicker and more robust because they have better insulation to protect them from heating up because you're passing higher levels of current through them they definitely have to be more robust they have definitely have to be of higher physical quality so once you handle a cable and it's one of those flimsy thin cables nah it's not going to provide you with super fast charging or the highest charging speeds thin cheap cables are out of the way also avoid cables that are labeled as only fast charging <coughs> tell us what standard of fast charging your cable has is it 3a is it 5a is it 100 watts is it 240 watts if those specifics are not listed, if all the cable says is fast charging, don't bite it. It will offer you fast charging, most likely, maybe 25, maybe 30, maybe 45 watts. But it will not guarantee you higher charging speeds, which is what you're looking for if you're watching this video, right? Lastly, if you see a cable labeled 3 amps, 3A or 60 watts, it does fast charging but will not give you the fastest charging possible speeds available. It will not support anything above 60 watts. That's according to the documentation that we have today. Things keep changing, but as of today, a cable label 3 amps or 60 watts will not give you the fastest charging speeds available in the industry. It supports fast charging, but you want to future-proof yourself. You want to make sure that your cable supports whatever charging speeds and standards are available in the market. It's nice to have that one cable that no matter the smartphone you buy, you know that if you use this and you have the right charger or the right adapter, it will work. There are plenty of fast charging cables. All of these unlabeled cables do fast charging. Some of them do 18 watts, some do 25, some do 45. I don't think that if I get a 60 watt charger, any of them will go beyond 60 because they are all 3 amps cables. That's it. I've made it easy for you. The things to look out for, the things to avoid. I'll see you in my next video.